Hey there, E6 golfers. Welcome to part two of Sand Ridge Course Tour. This side has a few gettable holes and some mammoth par fives. The tenth hole here is a fairly straight ahead par four. The water is in play no matter where your tee shot lands. And folks, that is not what he wanted. Woof. Well, uh, third time. That's the charm. And finally, we have a good break here. This should give us a nice angle into the green. Tracking well. There you go, inside 10 feet. The 11th hole is a long par four, measuring at 452 yards with a slight dogleg to the right. It's about width and fairways here, so you wanna make sure that you're gonna have a good angle into the green. If the pin were on the right side of the green, he'd be in trouble, but he's lucked out today, folks. Can't do better from there. Good putt, and it's, and it's in. This par three is separated into two tiers with a large ridge bifurcating the green. You'll need to be on the same level as the flag for a chance at a two putt. Being too far above or below the hole is serious trouble here. Fortunately, he's on the right tier, but he's gonna have to be careful because he slopes away from him at the end. Well, he wasn't gonna let it run long. Hole 13 is a bomber's paradise. This long par four features ridges that are going to move the ball down the fairway for you if you catch them correctly. But be aware of the bunker lurking near 300 on the right-hand side. That's going to bring our driving accuracy down to 46% on the day. Tracking well. And that's a great shot. I leave 16 feet for a birdie. Comfy par. Up next is a mammoth par five. It's over 500 yards long and uphill. Take note of the great bunker work up near the green and be careful if you're trying to get home in two. Looks like he's gone with a little hold off fade and that could be in trouble, folks. Short sighted again. Oh my gosh. Catches the lip and comfortable there. Hole 15 is a perfect example of a risk reward hole. This short par four is well guarded, so pick a spot and commit to where you're going to land the ball. It's a great shot from there. Should be a gimme four birdie. Hole 16 is the second of back-to-back -back short par fours. It's going to provide some relief on this long back nine. Take dead aim over the water and take on as much as you can stomach for an easy flip wedge into the green. Gettable from here. Great wedge shot. He has 11 feet for his birdie. Oh, folks, he's done it again. This is a long par three, so let's just get it there and try to make a putt.
Well, you'll take what you can get on a hole like this. I think he's left that woefully short. He wishes he could have that one back. We'll give that one to him. And folks, here we are at the 18th. I think all courses should end with a stunning par five and that's no exception here. This hole is nearly 530 yards long with a center line bunker up near the green. So this is going to force you to pick a shot if you're going to lay up. He has about 220 yards into the green. There's a chance he gets there. Perfect draw, just needs to kick, kick, kick. It's been good with a wedge all day. It's in the day. Rolling, and folks, this could be really, really good. Just shy. Not bad to end with a birdie. Thanks for tuning in to the Sand Ridge Course Tour. Like and subscribe for more content like this.